Alright, hey, it's Luke. I'm making a new G Mechanism demo video because the old one had some older elements that were no longer included in G Mechanism, like the application. I will show you the website first, and like I said, it did replace the old application we used to use. Uh, the website is actually pretty straightforward. I recently updated the forum, and it's a little bit ugly right now, but I'm still working on it. It is functional though, so it's a great resource to use if you're ever having an issue with G Mechanism at all. Uh, once you're logged in, you can go to the portal, which allows you to edit your profile, view your currently registered games, allow you to register another game, and manage your G Market stuff. Uh, G Market's coming later. I'll explain that in a later video once I have something worked up for people. For now, we're just going to demo the Studio G Mac API port. Now the studio demo is pretty much the exact same as the standard uh, GameMaker 8.0 and 8.1 demo. It's just that I just recently reinstalled Windows and I only have Studio installed on this new one. I reset all the statistics for the studio demo before I started recording. So we've only got 12 plays on it right now and very little data. I think I've only got a few high scores in here. But um, the tools that are available to you through the dev portal on the website are pretty great. They let you manage your high score tables, define your achievements and everything, set a password, change title, manage your INI. And now the INI is it's a, an online INI file that sits on my server. So all instances or uh, copies of your game, they can all connect to the same INI file and read and write variables. Yeah, see like I said, I cleared it and we only have a little bit of testing data to work with. Uh, so there's the website, and as I show you the demonstration, I will bring the website into view so you can see the server's data actively changing. Bring this over there and this over here. So I guess we'll just uh, look at Windows for now, it's the easiest one. Now G Mechanism can be used regardless if the end user has a G Mechanism account or not. The only thing that requires them to have a GMAC account is stuff like the buddy list and the private messages and stuff, both of which are still in development at the moment. Uh, right now we're not signed in, that's why it says please log in. Uh, we can get some other information like uh, G Mechanism can return a number corresponding to what the port is. So if your game is running in HTML5, it'll tell you that. In our case it's telling us that we're running in Windows, which is just the standard Windows port. Uh, it can tell you the user's public IP address, how many times your game has been played, etc. So without logging in, let's submit a high score. Um, let's say that our score is 150. Now since we're not logged in, uh, you can code your game to prompt the user for uh, an example name. So Luke's temporary oopsie, name. There we go. And then it'll update that and plug it in. Now this is what's going on on the server side so we can click the high scores table and then you can see a live update right there Luke's temporary name 150 you can delete it obviously if somebody hacked it so let's say this user hacked it and said 40,000 click the delete button and it's gone now um, let's see let's test the ah first off let me log in When the user logs in, you can create your own dialog boxes and everything like that. And you can see that the text down here has changed. Let's go to achievements. I think I already gave myself all the achievements. No, I didn't. OK. So each key, 1 through 5, will give you an achievement. In my case, I'll just give myself all five of them, whatever. And um, there's that. So yeah, how that works is with your game manager on the website, you define your achievements using this. Let's say here's a fifth one. Add that in there. The reason why they have IDs is uh, I'll show you in the code. There we go. Achievements. In this case, each achievement is given that ID. So you can mess with that achievement only by using the ID instead of using an actual achievement title. That way, if you figure out that later on you misspelled an achievement, you can just edit it right here, and it'll change in all of your games without you needing to 
alert all your users to update your game, which makes it easy on you. Uh, let's see, let's go back to the demo. Mm -hmm. Okay, like I was talking about the INI files, user profile INI, that is reading and writing to the currently logged in users INI on the server. That's basically you have full access to their profile. You can change any information in their profile, any information that they set, all that good stuff. Um, for now, I will just test the game INI so I can actually show you what's going on on the server. Okay. So here is the INI testing screen. And uh, is, is the game INI so we can actually see what's going on here. And I'm going to write a variable. Let's say it's new variable. And then the value for it will be this is a sample sentence. Oops. Yeah. If I could type successful or whatever. And then you can see on the server here that the new data has been written. New variable is a sample sentence. You can edit it, delete it, all that good stuff. Let's read from it. New variable. If there is no variable called new variable, it'll just return that. In this case, it returns this is a sample sentence. If you enter in a non existent variable, and then your default value is hello chickens. Then the default it'll return hello chickens because there was no variable called that random thing that we entered in. Now um, the same thing works with user profile INI except that's just stored in the user profile. So if they need to save a game, you can store their health, you know, location, all that good stuff in there. I really can't show you that the profile part on the server yet. I'm still working on that feature. But that is a good rundown of the G Mechanism API. So if you have any questions, there's always this website. We've got the forum up now. And there's always the, let me show you, the chat box. There's usually someone always in the chat box. And of course, the website and chat box and everything is optimized for mobile devices. Thank you very much.